everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a 15 minute beginner style full body cardio workout. You don't need any equipment, but I would however recommend that you do a warm up before we begin this workout. All of my warm ups and cool downs are always linked in the description, so you can choose one of those before we get started. Like I said, you don't need any equipment, just make sure you have something soft beneath you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so our exercises today are gonna be 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. We're gonna start off by rising up on our tippy toes, squeezing those legs, and then coming down into a squat. So rise and lower. Make sure you keep your chest nice and lifted as you come down into this squat. And as you come up for your rise, your legs are nice and straight. We're engaging those calves. Arms are nice and strong. Nice work. Your second exercise. We're doing these in supersets, by the way. I don't think I said that. So we're gonna take these two exercises at a time. Your second exercise is a standing elbow to knee crunch. So you're gonna bring the elbow to meet the knee in the center. Thinking about bringing that knee up in front of you so you feel those lower abs engage. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can do two at the knee and then two reaching for the toes. Nice work. So we're gonna repeat those two exercises before we move on to our next set of two exercises. So we're starting off with our rise and our squat, making sure we're coming all the way down in our squat. And then as we're rising up, make sure this is more of an explosive movement. So you're really using those glutes to get up there, stretching those legs, squeezing those calves. Twenty more seconds. Good, fifteen second rest, shake out those legs. Moving on to our standing elbow to knee crunch. If you are reaching for the toes, same thing as bringing those knees up in front of you. Think about really reaching up and over and your abs are the hinge point of the movement. So you're exhaling as you reach for those toes, engaging the core. Nice work. We're gonna move on to our next set of exercises. We're gonna come down to the ground. We are gonna start off with a glute bridge. I apologize if Jazz is taking up the majority of the frame, but she's too cute to move. So, legs are bent, heels are planted flat into the floor. You're gonna press the hips up and control lower down, pressing the lower back to the floor. So we're not arching our back here to get the booty up. Thinking about keeping the weight in your heels.
press those hips up as high as they can go. Think about engaging those inner thighs, almost as if there's something pressing up against those thighs, pressing them outwards and you're squeezing those thighs in. Good, taking a 15 second rest down here. Your second exercise is going to be an elbow to knee crunch. So starting off in the same position, fingertips are gonna be by your ears. Again, pressing the lower back into the floor. You're gonna bring elbow to meet knee in the center, just like what we were doing when we were standing up last round. So we're not pulling on the head, we're keeping the neck nice and long, keeping the chest open, thinking about lifting those shoulder blades up off the floor. Good, taking a rest down here. We're repeating those two again, starting off with our glute bridges. If you find it helpful, you can lift your toes up off the floor so that you're really forced to keep the weight into your heels. You'll feel it more in your hamstrings and glutes as you're doing this. Remember, we're not arching the back, pressing the hips all the way up to the sky. Good, taking a rest down here, getting ready for our elbow to knee crunches. Fingertips by the ears, lower backs pressed into the floor, lower abs are engaged. Good, we're gonna stand it up. Moving on to our next two exercises. Your first exercise is gonna be a modified ice skater. So you're gonna step to the side. This leg comes back on a diagonal. Fingertips reach towards the mat. Step through center, other side. So you might feel this in your outer glutes. Remember to think about that core as you come down. Few more seconds. Nice work. Next exercise, we're gonna try and increase the heart rate a little bit. So you're gonna step from side to side. One arm is pulling in, you're squeezing your back. This arm is reaching up to the side. So we're focusing on that squeeze. We're squeezing those lats. and trying to keep the pace high. So we're increasing that heart rate a little bit. 
Don't forget about that core. It's turned on, it's engaged. Nice work, getting ready to do our modified ice skaters again. When you're doing these ice skaters, we're not dropping our chest all the way down towards our leg. We're keeping our gaze looking forward, chest is open and lifted, stepping through center. Here we go. So almost think of this as a lunge. Arms are nice and strong. Ten more seconds. Good, keep this in active rest. We're gonna march in place. We're doing our side reaches one more time, and then we're gonna ramp it up with a little bit of cardio to finish it off. Here we go. Squeeze that back. Couple more seconds, keep it nice and strong. Good, marching in place. All right, we have three exercises. We're gonna do each for 30 seconds, no rest in between, and we're gonna do it twice. So, first up is marches, except we're gonna make these a little bit more powerful. So we're coming up, thinking about engaging the core. Arms are nice and strong. Stay light on those toes. Next up, we're gonna do a modified burpee. So, Fingertips are by the ears, you're gonna rise up on those tippy toes. Hands come down to the mat, step it out into a plank. Step it back in, coming up, rise. Lower, step it out. Try to get that bum down as you step out into plank. Good, last exercise, kicking our bums. Staying light on those toes, staying forward on those toes. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings. All right, we're gonna do that all again. Starting off with those marches. Here we go, modified burpee next.
Good, bum kicks last 30 seconds. Add some arms. Step it out, swing the arms open, nice and strong. Light on those toes. Ten more seconds. Nice work. Take a deep breath in and out. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this beginner full body cardio workout. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button as it really helps to support my content and my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.